Don Luciano prized an eye for business above his son Tony's view of the world through the sights of his gun. He'd given him the nightclub to run to get him back on the high road. But Kim Bong Sik had kidnapped my client Cherry Pops, the only human Tony Luciano had ever warmed up to. And Tony couldn't even spell negotiation. All right. Any one of you that speaks a word of English, tell them loopy twins you work for that I'm here for what's mine. Oh, did you hear me? I said, bring me Cherry Pops, or this Desert Eagle's gonna say it louder. One, two... <clears throat> Diplomacy and tolerance weren't numbered in Tony's talents. He had to shoot first and ask him. Well, he just had to shoot. He wasn't much for questions. You hear me now? <laughs> I love my hair, but it's a little inconvenient. But for Tony, finding Cherry on his own called for stealth and deduction. And all Tony had were a lot of bullets. It's like they built books into the walls. Dragon's main attraction was their famous mermaid show, but their star girl, Princess Neptuna, had run off with what she hoped was a prince. Anyway, the club was open only to its armed employees while they auditioned a new girl, and the auditions were tanking. Whoa, whoa. What kind of freaky joint is this? It's a natural. All right, you weirdo creeps. I want to see all your gun permits. with the head. Damn it.
explode. I'll give you a turd eye. This trig is giving me a blister here. Jerry! Give me a noise, baby, says so I can get to where you are. Now I'm getting steep. Psycho, man! I'm out of bullets, huh? At least this dump has a bar. You call that service? Next round's on me! Well, hello! <laughs> I gotta reload this thing. Mine, or I can kill yous one by one. <laughs> Wet floor sign, huh? Yeah, you'd actually have to clean this place to get it. Wait! Ah, oh, Madonna Mia! Christ. Ain't you heard of a courtesy flush? What are you looking at? Damn it. Smells like steamed vegetables in here.
I love my hair, but it's a little inconvenient. Again with the hair, damn it. Hey, this is supposed to be a place for relaxation. Nerve. Doll. I got bigger fish to fry right now. Oh, where'd all the use come from? What's your... Guys ain't figured out let's no good for you. <laughs> Bartenders here got a real bad way about him. Ah, that's the ticket. Use can stop Tony Luciano. Damn it. Ah! Oh, keep it down, all right? Sword fight? Nah, yeah. she can't be down here. Cherry's strictly VIP. Tony was his father's biggest shame. Dim-witted, loud-mouthed, and hot-headed. He burned every bridge he crossed and a few for his family. But next to the Sick Brothers, Tony was an angel from above. Uh, well, I never went to one of them fancy lifeguard schools, but if you want out, I can get you out. <laughs> Right then, nice to meet you. They got cabs right on the corner. That looks like where they take the quality girls. 
The Six's true origin was shrouded in mystery, but according to my number one informant, Jim Bongsick had a rap sheet full of murder, graft, and theft, while his twin brother Kim Bong was feared from east to west as a killer of young and old and girls even. He's psycho, man! Thank you, Reload! Oh, so these are the real hard cases, huh? I Go think ahead. your mermaid's on the loose! <laughs> Over while you still got hands. Make him die. Make him die. Ah, jeez. Ugh. There you are, Angel. My client, Cherry Pops, was the very definition of a femme fatale. Feminine and, you know, fatale. The kind of dame who inspired bloodshed and heartbreak, twisting men's hearts till their pockets were empty and their eyes were full of lust. Didn't matter if they were rich, powerful, even dangerous. In the end, they'd all spill their darkest secrets and beg for more. Tony? Whoa. You gotta be kidding me. Whoa! Big guy! Fuck! Oh! <laughs> Poor guy. But thank God you're here, Tony. The Sikh brothers' goons jumped me outside the smoke and barrel just before my shift. I thought I'd never escape. Well, the day's still coming out of your check. So what's with the hardware? Is something wrong? What do you mean something wrong? Ain't you heard the fire and smoke? While you were in here playing Dance Dance Revolution, I had to take out half the Pacific Rim trying to rescue you. Now let's get out of here, Sweepy. We got a sunset to ride on into. Here, past the curtain. If the road that led to my client Cherry was purgatory, she was now leading Tony deep into a hell from which there was no escape. Or probably it was pretty hard. You know what floor the ambush is on? This one. Going down. You <laughs> murdered that guy. Yeah, well, he started it. Oh, it's like a baby chair. Uh, which squiggle means exit in Asian? That's not Asian, Tony. Maybe it's a puzzle. Ah! They pervert even the most basic things. 
Where are you going? It moved on its own. Maybe Kim wants everybody to look up to him. Just stay up there. I think whoever's on this floor ain't gonna wish us well. You don't have to kill them, Tony. He who has not faith in others shall find no faith in them. Lao Tzu said that. Lao Tzu? Keep cool, baby. I'll try not to shoot him hard. Ah! Wrong doors, Tony! Turn around! Christ! To them! I am overstimulated, Tony. I want to go home. Baby, you're the first stop. I just need you to get where they can't shoot you. All right, we're moving. Stay close to me now. I see him! Cherry, oh. you hanging in there? This is bad news, Tony. I can't even hear. Ah, uh, you making her upset. Oh, what did I tell you? Stay put. But they can see me. They won't. I shot them. No, them. Maron. Get on your knees, babe. Hey, don't talk to me that way. Baby, I just meant you should duck so they can't get you. Sorry, Tony. Sorry, Loud Zoo. Stay behind me, baby girl. Cherry, where'd you go? Tony was sweet on Cherry like he'd never been for anybody else. He never even tried to kill her. Sorry! Don't move a muscle. This hallway looks kind of familiar. You're gonna get yourself killed! Who's crazy, man? <sighs> now, what about that hallway? Oh, Betty's from heaven. I've been here before. Not that way, Tony! Ah, what the hell is this? Monopoly money! What are you doing? That's not even American money! Hold on a second, babe. The international crime and business empire of the Brothers Sick included an elaborate counterfeiting operation. Ha! <laughs> Mother of God, this is like an actual dream I have repeatedly had. Ladies, ladies, I just got here. Uh, those guys are ruining my dreams. You okay, Cherry? I was. Almost done, baby. Remember what that the uh, Shih Tzu Tony, guy said. What's your deal, man? Hey, sweetheart, you know where I can validate my parking? Tony, the freight elevator. That's our ride. Uh, how many of you are there? Get us off this floor, baby. Work this. Just mash the buttons. Back to work. So long, Saigon. We're out of here. Not cool, Tony. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. 
Antonio was all alone, give or take the hundred armed guys that were closing in on him. But what they didn't know is that Tony, like his namesake, was a tiger. Or I guess maybe a wolf. One of those things you don't want to corner. I love my hair, but it's a little inconvenient. We're not even Vietnamese, you racist Greek. We fall for the racist. Whoa, 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 shut up! He's in there? Yes, all alone and no way out. Except our guns and all our bullets. I ought to shoot you myself. Now, Jesus! Get him out of there. Wait, we can smoke him out. You want to set fire to the armory? We can't stop him. How long do you think it ought to take, huh? Come on, face it. Forget about it, I'll go through the walls. Room again? Didn't I kill you already? Intruder! I ain't got time for all of this. Now you get dead and stay dead all the way. What's your deal, man? This freaking dragon's a real safety hazard. Couple of bullets and it could fall and hurt somebody. Like this. That's one, probably two more tops and it's raining dragon. It might be nice to have bullets. Thrones. Tony had crossed the Dothraki Sea and now you Look at me, I'm Cirque du Soleil over here. <laughs> oh, 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 not for nothing, but this is a hell of a view. Second to reload, I'll give you. Ah, yeah, that's it. Which pocket did I put my? 
my bullets. Oh, baseball. Say goodbye to my mother. Oh. Stay close to me, sweet pea. I don't want to lose you again. Relax, Mom. That's the exit right there. Just put away all the guns before you get me arrested. Kim Bong Sick, the wrath of the Pacific Rim, the nuclear nub of LA's criminal underworld. According to legend, he was an 11th degree black belt in operating Thetan, one part eagle, one part. Whoever's in here, just shoot yourself and save us all some agit already. It's Kim Seek. He's really fast. Tony, look out. He's got a toy or something. There are no savings here for you. Oh, I'm so jumping on your face right now. Deep in a secret place on the most sacred Baitu mountain. Hey! Kill him now! Not tomorrow! Hey! On that day, I'm gonna put a hole in star lit up the sky, and rainbows appear. Get me more soldiers! Oh. Come on! Oh. Also, I invented the hammer. Bullets, huh? Shoot him in the head! Woo. Oh. 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 I'm out of here.
Please, I'm out again. Will thou lift up Olympus, then fall, Kimboxic? Let's just go home, baby. I forgive you. Look out, Tony! Oh. He's still alive! Oh. Father, we were pioneers in the fusion of song and dance. Ah, Jesus! I... So I leave you softly, long before you miss me. Oh, enough! I will pay you to die! Aha! My brother, my brother will avenge everything. Goddamn Wubat sicko pricks, wasting my time. What, you think I got nothing better to do? Dragging my day? I must have lost a grand just on bullets already. <sighs> well, I guess it could always be worse, right? It can, and it will, Tony. Welcome to the first day of the worst d day. W welcome to the... T You're in for it, Tony.